Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy here from CyberPower PC, and today we're going to be talking about two things. One is the price for performance in a computer, and also how we are able to help with our online tool called EasyPC. So if you head over to our website, we have this thing called EasyPC. It's a tool that we have online to help you figure out what's best for your budget and what games you play, and it splices that all together to get you the best system for your needs, whether you have a high budget, low budget, what games you want to play, and what resolution that you want to play at even the types of hardware that you want, whether you want just Intel or just AMD or Intel and AMD or Nvidia and AMD, whatever the hardware brands that you want, we're able to use that in our easy PC to figure out the system that's gonna best suit what you want. So to head right on in, we're gonna head over to our website, cyberpowerpc.com. So let me just go ahead and type that in. And then over on the top here, you can see that right next to Instant Ship Systems, we have easy PC. <laughs> go ahead and click that. Then it'll take you over to our configurator, click the start button, and it'll take you to the two different types of systems that we offer. Obviously we have desktops and laptops, but for this video, we're gonna be talking about desktops. So we're gonna click desktops here. And then right here, we have our budget. So we kind of wanna showcase three different types of budgets. So the first one we're gonna start with is around $1,500. All right, so go ahead and click next. And then right here, we have all kinds of games that we here have benchmarked. We've benchmarked different systems and all kinds of configurations to give you an FPS range. But uh, you can choose whether you play in 1440p resolution or 1080p. Uh, we're going to choose 1440p just for fun. Um, as you guys know, we do stream, so we do play a lot of PUBG. Um, we've played a lot of single player games. You can put Witcher, Tomb Raider. We'll just do those three for this. Go ahead and click next. Now you're able to choose the brands that you like. If you want to choose a specific graphics card or CPU, uh, you can click on these. So, And then how soon do you want your system? We have a bunch of different types. We have instant ship systems that are already pre-configured. And then we also have our custom configured, uh, which will be actually built in our warehouse, not pre-built, so it won't ship out as quickly. $1,500 desktop, 1440p, so on and so forth. And we're gonna scroll down here scrolling down. Now, the first four that you will see will have good, better, best, and ultra. Ultra being the absolute max fitting your budget criteria. And then we have good, which is the absolute minimum fitting your budget and uh, spec criteria that you chose. Right here on screen, we have the gaming instant ship GML 9932, which has an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X with an RTX 2070 graphics card. In terms of how this all factors into how much your system is, uh, the CPU and the graphics card, the reason why we have you choose those is because those are the bulk of the price of the system. It's anywhere from a third to half the cost of the entire system. Now you can notice here, right here, where my cursor is, you see FPS 105. You're actually able to click on that and see all the different games that we've used to benchmark this system. Um, and it shows whether in 1080p, the frame rate or the 1440p and the, its respective frame rate as well. Um, but let's actually change it up. So this is actually AMD and Nvidia. So let's see what we can get with an Intel and an Nvidia processor and graphics card. Take out AMD here, pop in Intel and Nvidia and see where we're at here. So we actually have a system that's uh, 1439. Uh, it has a little bit higher of a CPU. It's an i7-9700KF. Um, but a little bit lower on the graphics card tier uh, with an RTX 2060 Super. So that probably has to attribute to what games we chose uh, just because uh, PUBG has been known to be a little bit more CPU intensive. It all depends on what games you play. So your findings may not be exactly the same as ours, uh, but for us, obviously we play a lot of PUBG here if you've ever watched our stream. Um, so this would be one of the two choices that we would choose. So we're actually gonna go Lower now, we're gonna to go towards a little bit more of a mid-tier, which is around the $1,000 price range. Uh, right now we have Intel and Nvidia chose, um, but of course we'll do some AMD products as well. Um, so we have the $1,000 range, the closest one. Well, we have one that's $1,000.59, or 1059 um, So it's $59 over our budget, but just to showcase it, it's here. Oh, it's an i5-9400F with the GTX 1660 Super. But now we're gonna go ahead and change it to, let's see what we can get with double AMD instead of Intel and Nvidia. Or actually we'll do Intel and AMD, how about that? Just to mix it up. And 985 right here. So it's uh, actually 
double AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor with an AMD RX 580. And the performance, you have 55 on 1440p and 190 to 120 frames in 1080p. So now that we uh, changed over to our $700 budget range, we see that we have our 699 system here. Um, we have an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. The G stands for integrated graphics for AMD products. It has their Radeon uh, Vega graphics inside this CPU. Um, so if you wanted to use integrated graphics for whatever reason, instead of using the GPU, you can. But for the graphics card, we have a GTX 1650 Super. Great affordable and performance graphics card. Um, you can see here that we are getting, you know, at 1080p, you know, 120 frames, 175 frames on Fortnite. And this is a perfect example of, doesn't matter the budget, it just depends on what games you play. That's what we were talking about earlier, how we are unable to really prove, or in terms of benchmarking, just use a singular game because certain games are more CPU intensive, some games are more GPU in intensive, and some use a mix of both. So it's really hard to really pinpoint what is the best system? It's more about what are you gonna use it for, what games do you play, and what resolution you play. When we're talking about the easy PC configurator, it's really all about what kind of gamer are you? Are you a competitive player? If you're competitive, then most of the time, frames is more important. You wanna get max frames, that way you have no delay in terms of your shooting or you know, controlling your recoil or being able to see somebody super far away, right? You can get whatever system you want. You know, a $700 system will be more than enough for you in terms of price and performance. Um, but if you're somebody who wants something that's graphically intensive, wants absolute beautiful quality, 4K, 1440p, what have you, you're gonna be needing to spend a little bit more of a premium to get those higher quality graphics cards to get higher quality graphics. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully we we're able to help you out. You can head over to cyberpowerpc.com to check out our easy PC configurator. This is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC signing off. Peace.